So we have five pounds of apples, and it can be okay. the more the the more varieties, the better. And, and these come from my trees. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah. It's look at look grown. at all the different colors. I mean, there's some they're yellow apples, sweet apples, tart apples. That's so great. So it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, so we'll get those all in there, and then um, that's a lot of apples. So peeled and and cored, cored. and cut into medium okay. chunks. So then we'll add two cups of apple cider. And that is my apple cider made wow. in my garage. Wow. From these same apples, by the way. Now we're going to put in some sugar. Now this is quite full. Um, Don't worry. We will it'll stir. Cook down, right? yeah, it'll cook down. It will. And then a quarter cup of lemon juice. Essential. Absolutely yes. essential. Lemons really complement the flavor yes. of apple. Fresh lemon juice. A half teaspoon of salt, because you always want some salt in anything sweet. It gives your tongue a little contrast. Half teaspoon of cinnamon, half te quarter teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. I imagine you're a stickler. I, okay. I am the nutmeg grater. Okay. Now the the flavor I like to add is also a little bit of star anise, Ooh, and I, I love leave it that. in for for the first part of cooking, and then I remove it and so it's not too. I strong. sometimes add mace, which is the outside covering yes. of the nutmeg. Yes. And I love that so too. So good. And so you basically let this go on high for about an hour and a half. It'll start to bubble. You turn the heat down to low. Cook another hour, and after. And then I usually remove the star anise just so it's not too strong after that two and a half hours. Okay. Go to sleep, wake up the next morning. So you've don't, got for, don't some forget, when it cooks a little bit, as it starts to just stir it up a little yeah, bit stir and before, before you go to bed. Okay, so we have this. This is cooked down now. Oh, look, it, look, those, that many apples is now cooked down to this dark brown, beautiful. Oh, and it has still some chunks in it. Now, I like the chunks. Do you do. like the chunks? Yes. Okay, because you could put it through a food mill, but I, no. I wouldn't. Okay. No. So now we're just going to put it in cans. And we've got this. We've got. Um, Want me to do that? Want me to jar it? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, okay if you'd like a ladle, oh, would that be easier? So we've sterilized our jars right here. And always use one of these little jar fillers, by the way. This little funnel is so good to have. That way your edges don't get dirty. And there, it looks And we want it to go to so about nice a quarter clean. of an inch from the top of the jar okay. for safety. And then we're going to, we're going to, I want this to last me for a long time, so right. we're going to uh, then can it. Yes. Right? Now, if you didn't want to do that rack. step. Oh, it has a rack, okay. If you didn't want to do this step, you can just keep it in your refrigerator for a few weeks, but why not make a big batch, give it away as gifts, and keep it, and eat it through and the so winter. And so how long should we process it? That should be about a half an hour to be extra safe. Okay. 